Let's take one more exercise in SOLIDWORKS, exercise number 254. Dimensions are in millimeter. All unspecified fillets are 2 mm, all threads are DIN standard. Okay. So we have top view, then there is section AA. You will see the arrow direction upside means the section view is uh, showing above the center line. This upper portion going to show here. Then there is a one side view and there is one more section view BB. In this section view, we are going to show you hole and thread parallelly. Okay. So we are going to start with base. Uh, this hexagon shape uh, we need to extrude this body with the help of uh, sketch feature 100 millimeter and thickness of this hexagon shape or body 11 millimeter then we have to make this tapered body how much this tapered body total length 86 then bottom diameter 70 and upper diameter you will observe here 51 okay these two things we have to make then we have to okay let's do this first i'm going to choose first top plane sketch now here choose polygon now here in parameters number of sides keep six in scribed circle right click exit now let's make this one horizontal okay now dimension given 100 millimeter from here to here okay now we need to extrude go to feature and, and I want to add material to this body so activate feature extruded boss base now here see start condition save mid plane or direction one keep blind I want to add material upside 11 millimeter okay now right plane is sketch now I want to add upper body so activate line tool and draw something like this this is the actually center point so oh no it's converted into line exit press escape key to out now make this line construction line A smart dimension select this point and this construction line and keep cursor outside it will show you diameter 70 similarly select this point and line and keep outside diameter 51 now distance from this point to bottom edge 86 now see we have a open profile because of this construction line revolve boss base i want to add a circular body now due to this construction line the profile is open so system are asked would you like to close say yes by default this is the axis of revolution and i want to add 360 degree because i want to make a circular body make sure re merge result if you unmerge uh, this body become separate body so become two body see now let's add this flange this flange radius 16 distance C from center to here 16 12.7 okay then how much this thickness you will observe here 35 millimeter this is important then we need to cut see this one there is a radius uh, thread m36 into 1.5 depth you will see here calculate from here 86 minus 44.5 then this tapered shape 6.37 parallel to this okay Now let me choose right plane sketch. Let me add one center line. You start with this origin point. You will see the point to center point. Press escape key to out. Activate line tool. Start from here. Go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc. And make close this profile press escape key out a smart dimension now distance from center line 12.7 and uh, distance from the center of the circle to this line 16 radius also 16 
look it seems fully defined this sketch go to feature i want to add material extruded boss base okay now start condition keep same material i want to flow both sides so here i am going to choose mid plane and add material 35 see material flowing equally both side say okay that's fine right plane sketch okay let's uh, cut okay let's activate line tool press escape key to out now let me do one thing select this line hold shift key select this outer edge parallel A smart dimension the gap between these two lines 6.35 and distance from bottom edge 44.45 see revolve cut now here choose this line vertical line as a axis of revolution you will see the preview keep 360 degree because i want to cut a hole say okay now i want to make one hole here so hole wizard now here choose tabbed hole din standard and choose tabbed hole i want to make bottoming tabbed hole m16 into 1.5 okay now blind now depth how much even though you can keep next also because uh, okay better to keep next thread also up to next here choose with thread call out position select this face and place hold here right click exit say okay option documents property detailing and i'm going to activate shaded cosmetic thread now let's check the bottom see okay this one is created now there are okay you will see here one more cut out you will see this this is the radius 3.62 you will see the gap we have to make this cut out okay you will see here this is exactly the cut out 6 point this is the other side other side means below the say, arrow line of a you will see here 6.36 the radius let's make this then uh, one side 11.8 other side m8 now select the back side select this face no not this face now let me do one thing select this is a sketch a sketch 3 extruded cut now here we have catch a start condition surface face plane and select this one you will see the preview and here choose through all okay now look this is how we created radius we will apply later okay we forget that. at center there is also hole for 4.8 how much this hole dimension you will see here 64 7 73 mm from here to here and this bottom 22 remember this right plane sketch activate three point arc now connect with this exit now i want to close this first this is important otherwise uh, our geometry will not going to we need to close the profile even though if we, if we are not going to close it might be damage many thing smart dimension sixty four now distance from here to center 
73 okay now distance from here to bottom surface 22 now this one define any length so that uh, geometry going to be fully defined see this is fully defined this sketch extruded cut now here keep end condition mid plane and make 4.8 millimeter you will see the preview okay and see now hole this side hole so let's make it hole here choose hole din is standard and here choose drill size and hole diameter 11.8 exactly here i am going to choose hole up to next next means if i am going to select this face this is going to cut only the next face position select this face now keep cursor and see there is a positive sign plus sign center point click and press again hole wizard tapped hole din is standard bottoming tapped hole now here i am going to choose 36 where exactly 36 1.5 next next thread also up to next position select this face type not uh, m36 this is 8 m8 only m8 position select this now place here right click select and exit see now let's make this hole 17 19 14 and this is throughout hole you will see the mark here okay then there is a radius inside 5 mm this is also 5 mm this is also 5 mm then here 6.35 okay then here 3.2 this is also important and rest all radius 2 mm see here 2 mm 2 mm and uh, 2 mm okay there is one more cut out this cut out forget 12.5 this opposite of this so right plane is sketch now here i am going to choose a straight slot right click exit now press smart dimension press shift key and select the upside and downside 19 mm now similarly select this bottom point hold shift key select this uh, 17 and center distance 14 look it seems fully defined this sketch go to feature and activate extruded cut now here start condition keep same and direction through all if you choose one side through all it is going to cut okay both side equally see direction to also see now select this face sketch circle now let's make one circle here radius 12.5 means diameter 25 okay this radius we are going to make okay let let it cut here choose through all okay but i am going to just take one step up see and apply radius fillet constant type fillet here radius 5 symmetric see tangent propagation circular profile okay now select one now beneath this and one 5 mm inside inside see this thread and this corner okay now down now see okay the this is going to miss again edit feature and here i am going to choose direction to also through all
now look the shape this is also cut this okay now fillet now this radius how much 6.35 this is important select this corner okay again radius 3.2 which one select this center point this is going to be 3.2 okay now rest all 2 mm so select fillet 2 mm and select all vertical line so that uh, it makes easy for us now i am going to select this vertical one okay fillet 2 mm select this all edges now select this upper edge and see this is going to select all because of this one we created first say ok see this is how we created this I think we did material right click right click on material edit material steel AISI 10C density and all properties you will see here apply close let me activate real view and see uncheck go to here double click on appearance see, this is going to change I want to change this one blue okay that's fine section view or right section view see right normal view look this cut out don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects inside works thanks for watching